laparoscopic mesh rectopexy in recurrent rectal prolapse. A 76-year-old female patient with four previous vaginal deliveries presented with a full thickness, complete rectal prolapse and mild fecal incontinence. She had previously undergone two perineal coloprotectomy procedures with the Almeyer technique with early recurrence at six months each time. Preoperative endoscopy excluded malignancy as well as adolicosigmoid. In this scenario, we decided to perform an elective laparoscopic mesh rectopexy with the Orloid technique. Patient is placed in trendling bar position with crocker placement as shown. We used an accessory 5 mm port in the left lower quadrant, which may help when suturing deep in the pelvis. The procedure starts with medial peritoneal opening just above the level of the promontory, exposing the area where the mesh will be fixed. Both left ureter and superior rectal artery are identified. Also, careful dissection of the ureter staying close to the rectum will prevent injury when dividing the left side of the peritoneal reflection. Anterior dissection is particularly difficult in this case due to the existence of a fibrotic scar from the previous perineal procedures that extends from the pouch of Douglas down to the rectovaginal septum. In consequence, additional counter-traction applied by the second assistant from inside the vagina helps identifying the correct dissection plane and so reducing the risk of injury to the rectal wall and the vaginal vault. Full rectal mobilization is achieved after posterior and lateral dissection, although lateral stocks preservation is advised. While the second assistant applies cephalic traction, complete reduction of the prolapsed rectum must be assessed. Cycle rectopexy is performed on each side with a polypropylene mesh strip fixed with two O-proline sutures to the lateral aspect of the lower rectum and to the sacrum. Care must be taken not to make full thickness bites in the rectum or injury of the ureters and iliac vessels when suturing the ends of the mesh. Finally, to prevent contact between the mesh and the small bowel, pelvic peritoneal opening is closed with two absorbable V-lock running sutures.